Good morning this Monday the 31st of May. I'm Paulina Peters, a market analyst at Bell Direct. I hope you had a great weekend. So how did Wall Street close last Friday? Well, all three benchmarks finished in the green. The S&P 500 lifted higher to close its fourth straight positive month, and leading the Dow's game was Salesforce. Its shares rocketed 5%. The big looming event for this week is May's employment report as stocks enter the often weak month of June. And looking across the sea, European markets also closed higher off the back of strong economic data coming out of the US. As mentioned in Friday's morning bell, the first time jobless claims in the US fell to a new pandemic low. In terms of what to watch locally, the Aussie share market hit a record high last Friday, closing at 7,179 points beating the record set back in February 2020. Today, the Aussie share market is set to follow Wall Street's lead, with the future suggesting the market will lift 0.08% to 7,181. Melbourne's virus outbreak could cast a shadow, however. There's plenty of economic news out this week. Tomorrow, the RBA holds its monthly interest rates decision meeting, with rates expected to hold at 0.1%. Then on Wednesday, economic growth for the quarter will be released. City expects gross domestic product, GDP, of just 0.3% from January to March. This follows the huge 3.1% expansion in the fourth quarter of 2020. And on Thursday, the balance of trade, that's Australia's imports versus exports data, is out for April. As for the most traded stocks by Bell Direct clients last Friday, they were Technology One, TNE, Inugene, IMU, and Rio Tinto, RIO. And the most traded stocks by our advice clients were Horizon Oil, HZN, CBA and Betmakers Technology Group, BET. Moving to commodities, oil prices fell slightly on Friday but closed higher for the week following strong US economic data and expectations of a demand rebound. The gold price rose 0.38%, popping above US $1,900 per ounce. This comes as US consumer prices surged in April and boosted its appeal as an inflation hedge. And to end on some trading ideas for your consideration, Bell Potter have reiterated their buy recommendation on a funeral homes and cemetery operator, InvoCare, IVC, with a reduced price target of $12.20, previously $12.80. IVC held their AGM last week with three key highlights. One, IVC's internal operational factors performed to plan in quarter one. Two, the average revenue per funeral is back to pre-COVID-19 levels. And three, death volumes remain below the long-term trend and below pre-COVID-19 levels. However, the key winter months remain ahead. IVC closed about 3% higher on Friday to $10.55, which implies 16% share price growth. And Bell Potter has also maintained their buy recommendation on integrated poultry producer Ingham's Groot, ING, with a price target of $4.30. Ingham's recently provided a positive trading update with operating EBITDA looking stronger than consensus averages. It also comes off the back of delivery against restructuring initiatives implemented pre-pandemic and a more normal mix in sales as COVID-19 lockdown headwinds become less intense. To end, Kinner Securities, KSL, Premier Investments, PMV, and Brainship, BRN, are all giving off bullish charting signals according to Trading Central. And that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy trading.